Welcome to your one dumbbell total body burner. I'm super excited to be back. It's been a few months since I filmed a video for you guys, so this is your latest one. All you need is really one dumbbell. I'm going to be using a 12 pound dumbbell. You can use whatever you have. If you want to mix it up and switch out dumbbells every once in a while, you can, but to make it nice and simple, you're going to use one dumbbell and then you will need, if you have a bench at home or a chair or anything that has a little bit of elevation, find it now because um, you're going to need that. If you are interested in using a playlist, I don't have one specifically designed for this class, but I've got tons on my Apple and Spotify accounts. I'm using the Total Body Circuit playlist today, so feel free to use that one. Grab what you need and let's get started. All right, if you're using the playlist or any other playlist, now's the time to push play. Push play on your watch if you're tracking it. We are gonna start with a body weight warm up. I'm just gonna get my timer rolling here. We're gonna start with inchworms all the way up into stand. So I want you to forward fold, finding that nice plank position at the bottom and all the way back up into stand. We're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna repeat all of these exercises two times through. You got five to work through. Whew. Okay, on your next one, I want you to come all the way down, find your plank pose, and you're just gonna press your hips back and then right back into plank. So I'm pressing back and I'm coming back into plank. Hips, or sorry, knees stay up, hips press all the way towards the heels. I'm stead, extending through my arms. I'm pressing back and coming forward. We got about 10 more seconds here. Use that breath. Just getting those shoulders nice and warm. On this one, crawl all the way back up. We're going to come into reverse lunge. So reverse, reverse lunge, twist over that front leg. Good. Can't find my words today. All I'm doing is finding a nice 90-90, twisting over top of that front knee, coming right back through center. Good. Keeping that navel drawn in tight. we got about 10 seconds left. Right here. Good. Three, two, planting feet side by side, single leg hinge, kind of like a deadlift, tap your toe if it's there, and then come up other side. Good. I want you to put most of the weight through the midpoint of your shoe, trying to keep your foot nice and flat, and reaching where you can, but if you can get to your toe, go for it. You got 10 seconds left here. Oy. Nice work. Five, four, let's do one more. And then we're gonna come to a jump jack. So traditional jump jack is here. Today I want you to take your arms front and side. Front, and you can go all the way up overhead if you like that a little bit better, but one arm, or sorry, both arms forward, and then all the way up overhead or somewhere in between. Nice work. Good, last few seconds with this one. We're gonna go back to the top, go through inchworms into a full stand. Three, two, and one. Good, we're finding that forward fold again. Finding that plank position in your inchworm, all the way back up into stand. Giving the glutes a good squeeze. Keeping that core nice and solid all the way through. Planting those hands right underneath the shoulders when you find that plank positioning. Nice work. Last few seconds. Good. When you come back down on this next plank, I want you to hold it. You're going to press your hips back, push backs, back and forward. Good. Sending those he hips towards your heels. Knees are staying up. Extending through those arms. Finding a nice bend in those knees. Good. Should be feeling that whole body getting nice and warm. Let's go for three more. Last two. Good. On this next one, I'm going to come all the way back up into stand. You're gonna find that reverse lunge. Step back, 
twist over my front leg, and then switch sides. Whew, find that balance. 90-90 in both knees. Should be feeling that heart rate coming up. Right here, 10 more seconds. Good, and I want you to catch that breath. Nice job. Good, and I want you to punch your feet. Single leg hinge, reaching for that toe. Opposite hand to opposite toe, and then standing all the way back up. Good, we're not worrying about rushing through these. Finding that control. You can always tap your foot back instead of hovering it above the ground, if that feels better. Okay, last few seconds with this one. So like this is your last one. Good, back to that jump jack. Forward and up or to the side. Nice work. Last 30 seconds, and then we're gonna move on. Today you got three big circuits to work through, and we're gonna work a pyramid. I'll explain that a little bit more after. Last few seconds, right here. You can always take the jump out whenever you need. Five, four, three, two, good, and relax there. Shake it off, make sure you have your one dumbbell or a couple different dumbbells if you wanna switch it out, and let's get started. All right, so just a brief overview of what today is going to look like. We're gonna work a pyramid style. You have four exercises in each circuit. We're gonna start with exercise one, take a break, do exercise one and two, take a break, and add on every round, always cycling back to the top. They're about nine minute blocks. So you're here for a little bit. You get a little bit of a break in between, a little bit of a transition between each exercise. See that happen pretty fast. I'm gonna go through all four exercises. You have an upper body, up, lower body, core, and a cardio, and they'll kind of transition throughout each circuit. Um, so you'll get a good mix of everything. So your first exercise is going to be on the ground. We're gonna start with the dumbbell in your right hand, and we're gonna extend your left leg. So I'm gonna drop my arm into a chest press, Okay, and as I drop my arm, I'm gonna extend my left leg out and then come right back up. So I'm dropping my arm, dropping my opposite leg and driving right back up. We're gonna stay for there for 30 seconds and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Your second exercise we're gonna add on. Right leg stays forward, we're gonna come into a split stance lunge. I'm gonna come down, drive the dumbbell up overhead and then find a single leg knee drive. Come down into my lunge, press up overhead and single leg knee drive. We're gonna stay there for 30 seconds We'll recycle back to the top. Your third exercise we're gonna add on is we're gonna find a vertical hold with the dumbbell. So holding it vertically, okay, and I'm going to drive up into a bridge, and I'm gonna come and drive the dumbbell in towards my knee, and then I'm gonna switch and do the other side. So I'm gonna alternate, but I'm staying up in bridge, trying to bring that dumbbell to just tap the top of my thigh. Okay, so that's gonna be your core exercise. We're gonna take a quick breather, repeat exercises one, two, and three, and then we're gonna find dumbbell out in front. Four mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, jump or step up, one, two, three, four, toe taps on the dumbbell. Okay, we'll take a breather. We work in reverse, all four exercises, one time through, no break, and that'll be the end of the circuit. So, let's get started. Make sure you have your playlist going, whatever you're listening to. Keep that music flowing. We're gonna start with a single leg, Sorry, single arm chest press, so right arm, left leg is going to extend into a dead bug. We go in three, two, and one. Right arm's holding. I'm going to extend my leg, drop my right arm, and then drive right back up. So as I drop my arm into a chest press, I'm extending that left leg out, okay? And I'll let you know when the time's up. We're here for 30 seconds. And if you went kind of light with your dumbbell, that's not a bad thing. We're here for quite a bit. Lots of repetitions are going to be happening. You can always switch out the next time you come. Good, switch arms, take a breather. Whew, we got 20 seconds, okay? Your rest times are gonna slowly become less and less. We're gonna find that tabletop with your legs. Now the weight is in my left hand. Extend the arm all the way up. As I drop my left arm, let's go right here, I'm gonna extend my right leg. I press up, so it should be left arm, 
Right leg. Good. Whew. Nice job. Okay, we've got, I cannot see the time, about 12 seconds left here. Pressing the low back into the ground. You get a five second transition between this exercise and your next one. Last few seconds right here. Good, we come all the way up. Right leg stays out in front, left leg back, dumbbell at the chest. Split stance lunge, lunge, press up overhead, drive that left knee, same side. Lunge, I overhead press at the bottom, and I drive that knee. Good. So this is total body. There's a little bit more emphasis on certain body parts in each exercise. Lunge back, overhead press, drive that knee up. Find that 90, 90. Three, two, good. You get 20 seconds to breathe. We go back down to the top. Right arm, left leg. We're going to find whew, a nice stance here, pressing the arch of the back into the mat. Okay, we're gonna extend that right arm all the way up, legs into tabletop. Left leg extends, right arm drops in three, two, and one. I'm dropping down and driving right back up. So this side for 30 seconds, we alternate every round, dropping that arm into 90 degrees and extend that leg all the way back. Good, when we come up this time, left leg stays forward in your split stance lunge. Draw that navel in, push it in towards the ground. No arch in the back, slowly make your way up. Left leg stays forward, right leg steps back. We find a lunge, overhead press, knee drive on the right, step back, lunge, press, and knee drive. Good, so now we're alternating onto the left side in this round. Good, left leg stays forward, right knee drives up. Find that lunge, press up overhead. Less than 10, and then we're gonna go right back on the mat, last one here. Hold that dumbbell vertically, find bridge hold. Send those hips up. As I drive my left knee, I'm bringing that dumbbell to meet the top of my thigh, then switch right leg. So this one we're gonna alternate. Pressing those hips up into bridge. Good. Drive it in. We're on exercise three. We're gonna take a break right away. Add on exercise four. Whew, you should be feeling those glutes. Keep that core nice and tight. Good, relax there. Nice job, you guys. Okay, we go back to the top. Left arm holding. Single arm chest press, right leg extends. Who are adding four mountain climbers into dumbbell four toe touches, okay? Arm comes up on the left side, right leg extends in three, two, and one. I drop my left arm, extend my right leg, and come right back up. So this is stabilization. Keep that core engaged the whole time. You got this. This is going to be the full four rounds, and then we'll take a 30 second break, and we're going to work all in reverse, one time through, no breaks in between. We got it. Good, we come up, right leg is forward, left leg back, split stance, find your lunge, press, drive that left knee high, lunge, press, all the way into that right leg. You got this. So this is a good circuit to kind of figure out, do you have the right weight for today? Is it challenging you enough? Is it not enough? Or is it too much? Because you got two other circuits to work through. Five, four, three, two, good. We are back down, vertical hold. Find your bridge, arms up. I'm gonna drive that weight in, tap the top of my thigh and switch. Not dropping my hips, keeping them pressing high. I'm reaching up overhead and then driving that dumbbell. Keeping that core super tight. Okay, after this move, we come up. We do four mountain climbers, four dumbbell toe taps. Alternating, gonna boost that heart rate. Good, place that weight down. 
We're coming into plank hold. Here we go. Four climbers. One, two, three, four. Up. One, two, three, four. Toe taps. One, two, three, four. Mountain. One, two, three, four. Toe. You got this. Count your four. One, two, three, four. Woo! Get that heart rate bumping. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last four mountain climbers. Good, relax there. Whew. 30 second breather. We're gonna work in reverse. Mountain climbers first. Bridges with knee drives. We'll split stance on the right side. Left leg knee drive. And then we're dead bugging in the left hand. One more time through. This is it. It's all gonna even out in this round. We go in seven seconds. Four climbers, four toe taps. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four. Woo, one, two, three, four. So this round, you've got two rounds of cardio. In the next few, you're gonna get a little bit more. I kinda switch the order up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 10 seconds. Challenge yourself to try not to rest too much through these rounds. Good, hit the deck. Vertical hold on that dumbbell. Send those hips up into bridge. Drive the knee in. Drive the knee in. Whew. We got it. Okay, when we come up, we're taking whew, that left leg forward into split stance. Drive that core in tight. Keep those hips pressing up. Bring that dumbbell to meet the top of the thigh. Good. Slowly make your way back up. Dumbbell at the chest. Step your left leg back. Sorry, right leg back. You're going to come down into a reverse lunge. Knee drive. Sorry, overhead press. Knee drive. Lunge back. Getting all kinds of confused here. <laughs> Step down, back. Drive that dumbbell high. 15 seconds. That's kind of what you want to be feeling. Is your mind and your body are like, who are we almost done? We are. We got five seconds left with this one. Three, two, good. Dumbbell in your left hand. Right leg is going to extend. Send that left arm up. Here we go. I draw my left arm, extend my right leg. Come back up. Whoo. We got this. Pressing the arch of your back into the mat. Finding that small hover, that hold. Keep going, guys. We are right there. Nice work. Good. And relax. Nice job, you guys. Okay, grab water. Circuit one is done. If you need to make a change in your dumbbell, do it now. I'm going to. And let's go back into circuit number two. All right, we're into circuit number two. Your first round is cardio. So we're starting off with a cardio round. We ended that last round with cardio. You're gonna get lots in this round. All right, the dumbbell's gonna come vertically out in front of me. Hand is gonna come on the dumbbell. I'm gonna jump or step back into plank. Jump or step into bear. Jump up and burpee, okay? So I'm planking. Bearing, burping. Looks like this full. Okay? You don't have to add the jump at the top. It can be a full stand. That is your first exercise. We're going to grab hold of the dumbbell. You're going to give me a full chest press out in front. Out, in, press up, and then triceps. Okay? So I'm pressing out, pressing high, and then driving my elbows in towards each other. So don't let them flare to the sides. They're in. Get those triceps. Okay, this one's a little bit of a combination. So I'm going to laterally lunge over to one side, step, and squat, pass the weight off. I'm going to laterally lunge, step in, and squat, pass the weight off. So I'm going to lunge, I'm going to squat, and then keep going. Your last move is a vertical knee drive with a torso twist. Hold it vertically, and you're just going to bring that weight, again, to meet the top of the thigh. Depending on how heavy of a weight you got, you can do more of an extension if it's a little heavy. Just think shoulder, okay? But it's the core crunch right through center. 
We're gonna work the same format, four exercises, pyramid style. You ready? I'm gonna set the weight up. I'm gonna start with my right hand on the dumbbell for your cardio round. We jump back into plank, bear, and burpee. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Find your plank, find your bear. Jump up, and hand comes back down. My right hand is staying on the whole time for the first round. Ooh, we're gonna get that heart rate flowing. Okay, I'm kind of matching the beat of my song. You can do that too, whatever song you've got going here. Hips nice and level to the ground. Core is nice and tight. Three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the left hand. We gotta repeat. We're gonna add on in this round. Chest press and then triceps. You ready? Left hand on the dumbbell. We go in three, two, Let's go, we go plank, there, up, and then jump. Or stand. Remember, you can step into all of these two. There's no reason to jump if you're not feeling that today. You want you to plant your hands right underneath your shoulders when you hit the floor. Less than 10. Four. Good, grab that dumbbell. Chest press, triceps, two and one. I press out, I press up, and I tricep. Good, chest, extend, and bend. Holy moly, heart rate. That's why the cardio round is hard at the beginning of your circuit. Woo. Press out, press up, and triceps. Three, two, and one. Good, breathe. All right, we're going back, right side. You're gonna give me, jump back, bear, and then come back up, right hand on the dumbbell. Use the dumbbell end if that feels better. Five seconds. Three, two, here we go. Jump into plank, jump into bear. Jump up, and jump at the top. So you're hitting four different things. Plank, bear, squat, jump or stand. You got this. Your whole body is working in this move, in this whole workout. Four. Good, grab that weight, whoo. Chest press, overhead, push. Extend and bend. So this is where we're gonna add a lateral step lunge into a squat, alternating sides. Nice work. Press out, up. I'm gonna cue what arm is holding and what leg is stepping. Three, two, grab with your right hand, you're gonna laterally lunge to the left. Here we go. Lunge to the left, center, squat. Now pass the weight over to the right hand. Lunge to the right, center, squat. Good, I'm bringing that weight to the inside of my shoe. So I'm stepping over to the right, left hand holding, and I'm squatting. Good, lateral, center, squat. 10 seconds, push that hip back and behind you. Pass it. Five seconds, this is exercise three. Woo, good, relax. We go back to the top. Okay, we're gonna add that vertical knee drive. I'm gonna pull my right knee in and pull across my body from the left side. That one will even out at the end. Okay, left hand on the dumbbell, cardio in three, two. Here we go, find your plank. Plank, bear, squat, jump. You got this. 20 seconds left. You can see how this builds on itself. Starts off like, whew, that's fine. These pyramids are like my favorite way to work out. Nice work. 
four, three, two, good, grab that weight, chest press, triceps, three, two, here we go, press out, extend up, and triceps, Whew. I'm pushing out, I went up to my 15, it's pretty, pretty intense, Whew. now if you're starting to feel your back arching a little bit, take a split stance, that's fine too. 10 seconds. Press out, press up, and bend. Three, two, good. We're gonna switch it out. Hold it in your left hand. We're gonna side lunge over to the right. Three, two, here we go. Side lunge, squat. Pass it over to your right hand. Side lunge to the left, and squat. Good, same thing. Right side, squat center. Over to the left, squat center. Nice work. You haven't already guessed, this is your legs round. Whew, less than 10. Four, three, two, and one. Good, I'm gonna hold that dumbbell vertically, pull my right knee in, in three, two, one. Here we go, pull. You can go as fast as you want. You can slow it down even. I was just trying to match the beat of the song. I'd rather you go slow, especially if you got a heavier weight. Well, I just got a glimpse of my heart rate. It's like 152. We are working. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, good, relax. Okay, 30 second breather. We're going in reverse. So I'm gonna drive from my left side and across the body, working up the pyramid this time. One time through, no rest. 15 seconds. Move around a little bit, don't let the heart rate drop too crazy here. Okay, we're going less than 10. I'm gonna grab that dumbbell, hold it vertically, starting at my right shoulder, left leg out. Three, two, here we go. I pull and release. Nice and controlled. So the slower you work, the better. The more time under tension. <sighs> nice, let that breath go. <sighs> Squeeze that navel in tight. <sighs> it's like a chop, chop across the body and I'm lifting my knee into it. Five, three, two, one, good. Lateral step, right hand holding over to the left in three, two, one. Knee. A lateral lunge, step through center, squat. Now we're gonna lateral lunge to the right, center, squat. Lateral lunge to the left, center, and squat. Whew, that heart rate should be high. You should be fighting to catch your breath a little bit here. That's good. Strength cardio, favorite way to train, three, Two, one, good. Chest press, tricep extension. Three, two, here we go. Press out, press up, tricep, bend, extend. Chest press, holding the ends of the dumbbell. I want you to push away, and it's like you're trying to hide the dumbbell behind your head. Press, get those triceps working. 10 seconds left. When we come to that cardio, left hand on the dumbbell, we jump back into plank. Three, two, left hand. One, here we go, jump back into plank. Jump into bear, jump into squat, jump at the top. Last 30 seconds. You made it this far in the circuit, big push. You've only got one major circuit left after this. And then a surprise four round. Well, I guess it's not a surprise now. 12 seconds. Woo. Less than 10. Last one. Good. And relax there. Woo. That was a wicked round. Grab what you need. Grab water towel off. Any adjustments, make it now. Let's do circuit. Three. Okay. So as you can tell, it's kind of set up the room a little bit differently. This is when you're gonna need your bench or chair or something 
to kind of use as a marker, okay? So you're just gonna kind of use it to tap down into a deep squat. I'm gonna show you all four exercises, okay? I got another dumbbell too, because I'm gonna go a little bit heavier in the last exercise. All right, so I'm gonna send my right arm up, legs out, up in the tabletop. I'm gonna hold my right arm here, and I'm gonna drop my knees over to the left side while I maintain that hold of the dumbbell, bring it back through center. I'm gonna stay on this side for the first full round, and then I'm gonna repeat to the other side. We'll add on a dumbbell shuffle snatch. So I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna shuffle over here, tap the floor, shuffle back, and I'm gonna snatch with my left hand. Okay, so I shuffle for two, tap, shuffle over, and I'm gonna snatch that dumbbell all the way up overhead. Quick transition, okay? This round we're gonna add a push-up bear walk. So, offset push-up, hands on the dumbbell. I'm gonna come, knees or toes, push-up, find my bear pose, walk, two, three, back, two, three. If you wanna do your push-up on the toes, you're here. Bring it to bear, walk, two, three. You're gonna stay on the right side in the first round. Last exercise, you're coming over to your bench or chair, grab that dumbbell. Up at your chest, you're going to give me taps for three. One, two, three on the bench, hinge forward, full stand. So it's three tap squat, stay low. I'm hinging forward, send my hips back, and drive up into stand. Glutes, quads, hamstrings, all the things. Okay, so a lot of movement here. Make sure you know where you're going, make sure you have weights. If you do want to grab a heavier one for your legs, do it now. All right. We're gonna start with that supine hold, lying on your back, right hand holding, and then use dropping to the left. We go in, three, two, and one. Here we go, knees up, I drop them to the left, my right arm stays pressing high, come back through center. I want you to hold it. Now I'm not dropping my knees all the way down either, okay? I'm finding like a 45 degree angle. If you tap your knees, it's actually cheating. Don't cheat it. Drop, hold. Keep that shoulder stabilizing. Draw that navel in. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay. 20 second breather. Whew, take it. We're going to switch. Left hand holding. Knees are going to drop to the right. This is your last circuit. You got this. Okay. Knees into tabletop. Left hand reaching up. Right hand out to the side. Three, Two, and one. Stabilize that left shoulder. And then lift the knees back through center. So I'm just dropping them off to the right side. Come back through center. Remember, this is control. Your cardio is coming after this in that shuffle snatch. Good. I'm going to set the dumbbell up to the right side of the room. And I'm going to snatch with my left hand in about five seconds. Give me one more knee drop. Quick transition up on the floor. I'm setting that dumbbell off to the right side. Shuffle to the left. Two and one. Shuffle for two. Tap. Shuffle back. And you're going to snatch with your left hand. Place it down. Shuffle. Tap. Shuffle. Left hand. Only the left hand this round. We'll switch it out next round. Snatch. Woo! Using the power of my legs to get that weight up overhead. Like you're zipping your jacket up, and then snatch that arm all the way up overhead, palm facing forward. Three, two, and one. Breathe. Whew. Okay. We're adding on offset push-up with a bear walk. Back to the top. Right arm holding. Knees dropping to the left. Set yourself up here. Send that weight up. We go in three, two. We drop off to the side. Bring it back through center. So my right arm Stabilizing, knees dropping to the left. Keep that core tight. When you set up for your next round of snatch, dumbbell goes off to the left side of the room, shuffle to the right, snatch with your right arm. Over and up. We got less than 10. Five. Three, two, good. Come up, dumbbell goes off to the left. Side of the room. We start here. Shuffle to the right. Here we go. I tap down. When I come back, snatching with my right arm. Shuffle. Tap. Shuffle. Now it's like you zip your jacket up. 
palm faces you. And once it hits your shoulder, palm faces forward. Good. Get that heart rate flying. Less than 10. And then we're going into offset push up on the right side. Three, two, good. Get that dumbbell set up. We're going to push up on the right. Right hand on the dumbbell. Three, two, knees or toes. Push up. Find bear. Walk forward. One, two, three. Back, two, three. Find your push up. Offset. There. One, two, three. Back, two, three. I'm doing my push ups from my knees today. My shoulder's been bugging me lately. But I'm still getting a nice full range of motion in that push up. That's good. Relax. Hoi. Okay, we're adding the legs. Three tap squat. Once you come up from your third tap, you're hinging and standing. Weights at your chest. Dumbbell goes in your left hand. We're back to the top, dropping your knees to the right side. Three, two, press up. Hold that left arm, drop the knees. Now I know you're fighting heart rate here. That's what you need to do. Okay? Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. This is where you catch your breath. This is why it's here. Nice work, nice work. Keep that right arm stable, or sorry, left arm stable. Squeeze that navel in. Whoo, good, come back up. Dumbbell off to the right side of the room. We're shuffling to the left. Here we go, shuffle. You're snatching with your left hand. Use those legs. Two shuffle tap, shuffle over. Snatch it. Get that dumbbell up there. Use your legs, use your core, your shoulder, your arms come along for the ride. That's why you can go a little bit heavier in your snatches. Five. This time we're offsetting push up on the left hand. Two and one. Grab that dumbbell. Left hand offset push ups. Three, two, here we go. Offset push up. My foot, sorry, I'm right close to the wall. Two. Three, bear crawl, back, two, three. If you need to readjust, do adjust. Okay, knees or toes, push up. Left hand on the dumbbell in this round. Whoo! One, two, three. Opposite hand, opposite leg, and your crawl. My upper body is feeling good, relax. Grab that heavier dumbbell if you got it. Pulse for three. Here we go. Down, two, three, hinge, and stand, good. Tap that bench, two, three, hinge, and stand. Down, two, three, hinge, stand. I want you to send your hips back, reach that bench. Hinge, and stand, five seconds. Three, two, one, hinge, and stand, relax there. Last time for you guys. If you're feeling fatigued, you're right where you need to be. We're three, can't catch my breath. Three squat taps into hinge, bear crawl, offset push up on the right hand, shuffle, we're snatching on the right side. Whew, okay, eight seconds, grab that dumbbell. We go in five, four, three, two, here we go. One, two, three, hinge, and stand. So I need you to find that hinge before you stand up. Push your hips back, drive up into stand, squeeze your glutes. One, two, three, hinge, stand. Whoo, lower body. 10 seconds. Pushing weight back through your heels. Two, three, hinge. Good, I'm just gonna squat here. Good, relax there. Grab that dumbbell. Goes under your right hand. Bear crawls. Push up. Here we go. Push up. Bear crawl. One, two, three. Back, two, three. Push up. Find your bear. Walk forward. Two, three. Now, if you're doing a full push up, make sure that your neck isn't taking the brunt of that work. Okay? Your whole body lowers together. Knees, same thing. 
three, two, one, good, offset. Dumbbell comes off to the left side of the room. We snatch with the right hand. Three, two, here we go. Shuffle over to the right. I'm snatching, right hand. Good, shuffle over, back, and snatch. You guys are crushing this. We got about 15 seconds left. Chest is up high. 10 seconds. Good. Grab that dumbbell. Right hand. Knees are dropping to the left side of the room. Three, two, here we go. Stabilizing that right shoulder. Dropping my knees off to the left. Ooh, I know. We are fighting to catch that breath. Slow this one down. This is why we're ending this circuit with a controlled exercise. Catch your breath. We got five seconds. Grab some water. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Whew. Okay. Now stay down here. Catch my breath. You have a core burner, so come back. It's like five minutes, then we'll stretch. All right, last round, core burner. There were three core exercises in each circuit. We're gonna do those three exercises two times through. It's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to breathe. Two full rounds, and then we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna just remind you of what they are. You're gonna come down on your back. You're gonna find your bridge. I'm gonna drive the weight up overhead, drive the dumbbell to tap the top of my thigh. Alternating bridge marches, keep the hips high. Okay, then we come up and descend. You've got 20 seconds to get there. We're gonna do right leg first, left shoulder, and we're gonna do that nice, slow and controlled action, okay? 40 seconds of everything this time, so 10 extra seconds of this move. Slow it down, chop it across the body. Your last core exercise, coming back down to the mat, left arm holding, we're dropping the knees off to the right, coming back through center. 40 seconds, we'll repeat, we'll work in reverse, other side with everything. All right, so grab your dumbbell, grab a mat if you need it, bridge marches, driving vertically. We're gonna go here in like five seconds. Whew. All right, we go in three, two, here we go. Drive that weight up, hips go up, and I'm driving that dumbbell in towards the top of my thigh. Squeezing that navel in. My hips stay high the whole time. It's kind of like a lat pullover. You're hinging at the shoulders, not the elbow. Nice work. Squeeze that navel in. Keep those hips driving. I did not place my timer in a great spot. I'm just going to listen for its buzzer. We got to be close. Keep those hips high. Good, relax, Woo, making your way up into stand. It's part of the exercise, up, down, up, down. Woo, keeping you on your toes. That weight's gonna come to the left shoulder, right foot, chop across the body. Weight up, we go in. Three, two, and one. I'm driving in, tapping down. So, all my weight is on my left, in my left foot, okay? I'm just lightly tapping my right toe down. And I'm crunching through the center. A little bit of like a small pause and release. Slight bend in that left leg. We got 20 seconds left. This is how we're going out. You got this. Nice work. Less than 10. We're going to hit the mat again. Woo. Squeeze it. Three, two, and one, nice work. Weight goes in your left hand. Come back down to the mat. Square myself off here a little bit. So you're gonna hold the weight in your left hand, drop your knees up and over to the right side, and heart rate is flying, you guys. We press that weight up, knees into tabletop. Three, two, here we go. I'm dropping my knees to the right, and I'm bringing it right back up. Remember, you're finding a slight pause at the bottom. Keeping that shoulder nice and stable, twisting through your core. Not dropping your legs all the way 
to touch the ground, just a light hover to where you feel that core engage and bring it back up. It's gonna be different for everybody. Just don't rest your legs on the floor. That is cheating. Do not cheat this exercise. Ooh, draw that navel in. Bring in that deep, deep core. Good for balance, stability. Good to protect that low back. Good, relax there. We're at 20 seconds. So we're gonna work in reverse. We're gonna stay down. Same exercise, other side. Right hand holding, knees drop to the left. Last time through. You guys got this. Five seconds, knees come up into tabletop, hand comes up to the side on the left side, right arm up. Here we go, drop the knees oh, to the left, come back through center. There's always one side that fights you that much more. Hello, this side. Nice work. And if that means you gotta change your range a little bit, or maybe you gotta drop down in resistance, that's okay. Listen to your body. I don't want you to force anything here. This should feel good. We're just moving the body because that's what feels nice. Holy moly, my core is just like, hello, are we done? We're almost there. Oh, good, relax. Okay, come back up. We're gonna go right shoulder, left leg, knee drive. Holding that dumbbell vertically, starting up at your right shoulder, meeting in the middle. Bring it up. We go in four, three, extend that left leg out. Here we go. Center and extend. Good. Remember, it's that small hold. Wait, you're also feeling it on the leg that you're standing on. It's got to stabilize you a little bit. All a part of working that core. Okay, so we're 20 seconds, halfway, and then you got one exercise left. Bridge marches with a lap pullover. 10 seconds. Squeeze that navel tight. Five, four, three, two. Good, relax. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. 15 seconds. I want you to find that bridge position. So hips are going to press up. You're holding that dumbbell vertically. We go in five, three, two, press those hips up, drop the arms back and behind, and then drive the knee to meet the arms in the middle. Whew. Press those hips up as high as you can. That cool down is gonna feel really good and it's coming. Good, drive that knee in. Nice work. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in. Use that breath. Almost there. Oh, relax. I was like, come on, how long have we been here? Okay, press that weight away. If you want to extend those legs, extend those arms, just stretch it out. I'm just going to stop my timer because it's beeping in my ear and it's going to drive me nuts. Boy, nice job, you guys. Okay. So we are just going to reach those arms high, extend those legs out nice and long. Just pulling the arch back away from that one time. You can kind of just release it a little bit here. Always keeping it nice and tight to the spine this time. Stretch it out. Okay, I'm gonna drive my right knee towards my chest, grabbing either behind the knee or at the shin, just not pulling on that knee joint. And breathe. Whew, that was some wicked work. Got to get that heart rate up, get that blood pumping. Ugh, haven't had like a workout like that in a while. It feels good. Let's switch legs. Sometimes when you're just teaching so much, you gotta get a workout that way, but it's good just to kind of like get a good sweat in with you guys. Ooh, get back into the groove of sharing some content with you. It's been crazy lately, but I'm glad to be here. All right, I want you to sit all the way up. I want you to keep your right leg extended, but pull your left heel in towards your left glute. Hands come behind you, and then you're going to press your left hip towards the right leg. So getting a nice stretch 
in through the quad, if you can get it, maybe even deep into that hip flexor, it's kind of hard to get, but whew, feels good on that front side leg. Boy. And as always, you guys, I do have those two programs available. There's a three week boxing program, three exercise programs a week in that one. And then there is also a switch like fitness frenzy, four week program, two exercises a week, two exercise program to add in your week. If you're looking for something different, every exercise program in fitness frenzy is different. It's cardio it's strength. There's a whole bunch of different variations to work with. So if you're interested in learning more about those, I'm also currently working on a new one, share some more information on that, but keep looking here on this page, subscribe to the page, like the page, like this video. And then stay tuned for more content. Follow me on Instagram, Fallon Fuel Fitness. Lots of things to think about. Let's extend those legs out in front. And then I want you to take your arms actually all the way up. Leave with the chest so that we're making sure we're keeping a nice flat back. If you can reach your toes, great. If not, wherever you can, somewhere along the legs and just breathe. Oh. Okay, the stretch just feels so nice after working these muscles. And I want you to get into the habit of exercising for you, nobody else, and for nothing else. Your perspective on fitness changes so much more when you're just moving to move. So don't worry about what the scale's doing, what your clothes are doing, just do you. Draw the soles of your feet together, okay? And driving them as close as you can towards you getting those inner thighs. If you wanna add a little bit of a chest stretch, you can just kind of press, hands back and behind you, drive those knees down. If you guys need more of a stretch, I want you just to take it. Otherwise, you guys absolutely crushed it here today. If you want to find a cross-legged position or legs extended, take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale, release. Two more big breaths there. I love ending my classes this way, any of my exercise programs this way. Just resetting the breath. Last big inhale. And exhale, let it all go. Awesome job today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Stay tuned, follow. Any questions or concerns, let me know. But have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again soon.